Welcome to the first video showcasing the new features in Pit Stop 2019, which is due to be released in April of 2019. Over the next few weeks, we are going to be releasing a few videos introducing you to the new features and also conducting short interactive webinars that will go into a bit more detail on the features and their benefits. Later in the video, I will give details on how to register for the webinars. The first feature to show you is the new functionality for handling complex elements with PDFs. You'll all be familiar with this situation. A designer has created a stunning graphic with an application like Adobe Illustrator, but when you come to output the job, the RIP processing time is way more than normal, which creates a bottleneck in your production. Here are some examples of the types of files we are talking about. This is a pretty common one. It's a map that's probably been purchased or downloaded from the internet. When I select the map, you can see it's quite complicated with lots of nodes. In fact, as you can see, it consists of 1,247 paths and over 28,000 nodes which your RIP has to calculate in order to process the page for output. Let's make that a little easier. Now the normal way to handle a file like this is to convert the whole page to an image using something like Photoshop. But that in itself can be pretty dangerous if you have small fine text, especially if it has serifs or text that has been outlined. Files with spot colors, transparency, layers, and duotones can also be challenging. Of course, that process takes time and some experimentation may be necessary before you get a satisfactory result. Here's another example. This is a newspaper ad for a car dealership. Can you guess where the problem element is? It's the logo in the bottom right corner. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, this little logo has 2300 paths, over 17,000 clipping paths, over 7,000 images, and 139,608 nodes. And you wonder that your RIP wants to give up and go home when you throw this at it. And this is for a newspaper where output speed is critical. So what can we do to solve these issues and make production easier? Well, firstly, PitStop can let you know about complex files using a preflight check that can tell you when a page has an excessive amount of nodes. This was released last year in PitStop 2018. That's very useful as it prevents you from processing files that have these issues. But how can you fix them in a good way without the brute force method of making the whole page an image? The answer is a new feature called Rasterize Selection, which is available as a new tool in PitStop Pro and also available as an action so it can be used in PitStop Server. Let's go back to the map. Here is our complex map selected again. So having selected our map, what I am now going to do is convert my selection which is just the offending map to an image. I'm going to use zip compression so I don't get JPEG artifacts. And I'm going to use 300 DPI, although I could of course go higher if I wanted to. For this file, I'm going to use anti-aliasing to make sure I get the smoothest result. When I'm ready, I just click rasterize. Here's the result. I now have one image where I had a very complex map before, but the rest of my page is untouched. The report tells us that an object with overprint could not be rasterized. That's because the feature has a logic built into it that will not change the construction of the PDF unless I ask it to. That is one of the advanced options that we will cover in a future webinar. If I look at the wireframe of the page, I can now see that the complexity of the file has disappeared and the output RIP will be able to process the file without issue. Now let's go back to the car advertisement with the complex logo and fix that as well. So again, we are going to rasterize just the selection and we are going to use the same settings as before, but we are going to increase the resolution to 600 DPI. For this file, we are going to uncheck use anti-aliasing. As you can see, after rasterize selection, the logo is now just an image, so all the complexity has disappeared. If we look in wireframe view, we can see the rest of the PDF is completely untouched, giving a resulting file with the best possible quality. If you like what you've seen in this video, and you'd like to find out more about the selective rasterize feature and its advanced options, please register for the upcoming webinar on this feature and many other new features upcoming in PitStop 2019.
We hope you found this movie interesting and look forward to seeing you soon when we showcase more of the new features upcoming in Pitstop 2019, which will be released in April.